It was uh, my last semester of college, uh, February of 2022. And my official diagnosis was in March of 2022 for ulcerative colitis. Uh, okay. Or pan colitis, and, and uh, more general. Okay, and so March of 2022, so almost a year ago, you're diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. And uh, I mean, originally from Ethiopia, did any of your relatives or anyone you knew ever have this kind of disease or have these kind of problems? No, not at all, not at all. Uh, I have never heard of it, I didn't know what it was. Uh, so I had no clue. I mean, do you feel like the food had something to do with when you started noticing your gut started feeling off? Uh, yes, uh, for sure. It's just, uh, there was a point where when I started getting sick that no food whatsoever that I could get uh, around uh, where I was that I could even close to comfortable, feel comfortable with at all. But when you were diagnosed last year in March, you're in college, you're a young, you're a young guy just trying to get your, you know, get a grip on your life. I mean, what happened? What was that experience like and how bad did your symptoms get? Oh, it was terrible. It was, uh, it was definitely a very terrible experience. Um, partly because of, of myself and like I neglected uh, some of the symptoms because that's kind of my default is if I get sick, I'm like, okay, whatever. And it's going to take a couple of weeks or so and I just get better. And that's been working for me for a while. So that's the first uh, kind of measure I took. So starting from like February, even like January of 2022, was, I, I saw uh, some symptoms and food wasn't like uh, as comfortable as it used to, it used to be. Uh, so um, I started seeing symptoms then and it wasn't as terrible. But then in a matter of, I would say, four weeks, five weeks, uh, everything started going downhill and what did the doctors what did the doctors do well that's also part of why my uh, kind of my experience was a little more frustrating than it should be was a look my diagnosis was a little late and it was a lot of oh you need to go see a specialist so four weeks out appointment when i'm pretty much like having such debilitating symptoms i wasn't able to wait for four, four weeks three weeks uh, to even just get the diagnosis, I had, I remember I had like something like a four week appointment to just get a colonoscopy, just to know what's going on, right? And um, so the, the entire hospital experience was very terrible for me. So, yeah. And so here you are, you're 21, 22 year old young man trying to get out of college. Your family is in Ethiopia. You're here by yourself. You're fighting for your life with this disease. You've been on put on lifelong biologics and steroids and you've you know, which helped, but they never got rid of your total symptoms. They started coming back. You're sitting at seven, right. eight bowel movements a day, one at night, zero energy from the medications, and you're having blood, mucus, cramping pain, and it must have felt absolutely hopeless. When you, and then you looked at the SHIELD program, did you feel like the SHIELD program could work? Or did you feel like, you know what? I just went on all these drugs. I've dried all this stuff, the doctors, this probably won't work for me. What, what was your experience when you, look, when you first thought about the SHIELD program? I did actually reach out to someone in the SHIELD program because I just wanted to hear about it and yeah. I heard about it, but I didn't do anything. But good thing I did because it was always in the back of my head as, a, as an alternative, uh, something to, to go to. And so the second time uh, that I actually signed up and I started the SHIELD program was when everything stopped, like started to stop working and like food started becoming worse again and the PM started uh, increasing day by day. So that's when I was like, I need to look for alternate alternatives. The Remicade is not working. And so, gone through the SHIELD program, been many months, and what are your symptoms now? Uh, pretty much symptom free. I'm actually, <laughs> yeah, quite, quite the opposite. Now I'm actually- like, Wait, 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 Gideon, Gideon, one second. How many bowel uh, movements a day are you having? Uh, one to two. One to two, yep. normal? No blood, yeah. no, no urgency, no, no urgency, no, no blood. diarrhea, no mucus, <laughs> nothing. And you're not, no bloating, no cramping, no pain, no gas. All were severe for you when you started. Yeah. E energy's good. You got energy. Energy's great. I've been working out uh, pretty much five, six times a week. So uh, energy's great. And are you on any medications? 
no, been off medications, like entirely off medications for the last three to four months. Wow, medication free for the last three or four months and your health has been getting even better. I think you just told Absolutely. me earlier before we started this, you said my health is even better now than it was last month. No, of course, absolutely. Wow, and so your your energy's up, uh, you've been able to gain, uh, gain back weight and you've been able to uh, get off the medications You've been able to get rid of blood, bloating, mucus, urgency, diarrhea, multiple bowel movements down to one to two normal formations, sleep through the night. You did this all from home. All from home. And yeah. can you eat a broad diet? Can you eat normal, healthy foods? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and can you eat Ethiopian food like your mom's cooking? Yeah. yeah, we just had an Ethiopian New Year and I was celebrating eating, eating a lot of Ethiopian food. Yeah. Wow, congratulations, man. Did yeah. you think you did you think you would get these kind of results when you joined the program? No, absolutely not. I I I thought that was definitely going to be something that will help me manage it, be a little more informed because that's one thing I was also looking for. It was information, which it did all of that plus, uh, like pretty much symptom free. Started seeing improvements this second week that I started. Wow. So two weeks in, you started seeing the ROI. You started seeing your body get better. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's, yeah, it's, uh, and I think one of the reasons why I even said, okay, this is a, this program is good for me is because there weren't any like, okay, this is some magic fix. This is a promise that we do like something like that. There, there weren't any big promises like that, but it was more like a process. And everything that's natural, everything that's healthy, I have, uh, realize this takes time and it uh, takes consistency and that that is that was a testament for me that it could work but I still didn't expect uh, the amount of result that I got for sure. How important was it to have a coach that you could work on one-on-one -on -one and then go over your stuff, go over your plan, DM when you need more support, shoot a message and get a response? How important was that to your success? Uh, it was definitely very, very uh, important for, for me because one thing was there were other, some other symptoms coming up, for instance, that I did yeah. have. And it was a quick, easy DM to my coach and uh, they were very helpful to like get back to me. Uh, and that was very helpful. And um, also to have a coach that has gone through so something similar like you um, has, has a massive, massive effect. And they actually do like someone understand me because to be honest, like doctors are great and they've really helped me out. Yeah. But also I know that the doctors didn't go through what I went through. So that's yep. a different experience to, to have someone talk to me something that uh, the passion that they have also is, is very real because they know what they're saying has helped them as well. And what was one thing to anyone out there who's really resonating with your story? They're in college and they're going, man, I just get overwhelmed with natural medicine. I don't know if this is a scam. I don't know if this is a waste of money. I don't know what I should do next. What was one thing that you think really helped you uh, in your success? Absolutely. Uh, I think one of them was definitely uh, the probiotics in the, in the morning. The, na the Natron probiotics? Natron pro probiotics. The powdered Natron probiotics. Yep. yep. Amazing. And what did you notice when you started taking those? Anyone uh, who wants to know about exactly which one you took? I'm putting it in the link below. Go ahead. Yeah, so I saw massive results because I was having problems with like indigestion and certain foods. Uh, but then once I started taking those, I think I I felt like uh, it, it almost feels like um, in the I, I took it in the morning. Yep. And then sometimes it feels like it's almost like another food. You take 30 minutes out before you can eat anything. And yep. It fills me up a little bit, it makes me feel good, and then it makes me feel confident about what I'm going to eat. And yep. also what would you recommend to some other young person out there who has no natural medics experience and is looking at this and is being told they have to take drugs or they, they, they you know, maybe natural medicine they don't think will ever work? What would be your experience or your 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 two cents to those people right now? Absolutely. I, 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 do, I want to say, I think, two things. But the first one is. Uh, the program to go back to the program shield isn't just about like diet supplement yeah. but it's a lot to do with a more holistic approach and one of that one of the uh, components of the, that holistic approach is your your mind yeah. and i think one of the i think one of the biggest things that this program helped me have was my hope and also uh get rid of my fear because i think that's very inhibiting so 
anybody, any young person, because as a young person, especially, there's a lot ahead of you, a lot of years. And so it's easy to be like afraid to, to think that, oh, my life is going to be messed up and to give up. And I was tempted to do those things as well. But I just want to say that there is actually hope. And uh, I'm definitely a testament to that. And uh, yeah, don't be afraid and be in control of your own health.